at 10. After decades of cruelty, the Equal Justice Initiative is leaving a mark in Tuscaloosa County to remember a part of African American history that is sometimes forgotten. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us live in studio tonight with more on the unveiling of the lynching marker. Stefan? Uh, Jim, good evening. Although the documented racial lynching deaths of eight black men took place less than 100 years ago, this marker project seeks to acknowledge this injustice and bring closure to a community scarred by the racial terror of their ancestors' past. Amazing grace. Oh, how sweet the sound. And the sight of history before the eyes of generations of onlookers taking a moment to remember. And we identified over 360 lynchings here in the state of Alabama. And we were concerned that when you drive through this state, when you drive through these communities, there's nothing that really acknowledges that history of terror. As part of their community remembrance project, the Equal Justice Initiative unveiled an historical marker that memorialized eight black men that were victims of racial lynchings between 1884 and 1940. Up north, it's a different way of learning about slavery, the civil rights, and coming down here and actually standing on ground where it's actually happened is something that's very, it's very touching and very humbling. And when you're in the place where history happens, or you just feel it and see it in a different way. It's very refreshing to experience. Um, often, sometimes we can hide behind our past and we can not acknowledge it, and that sometimes washes away the victims, and we don't get the healing and the progression that we need. After the unveiling, a memorial service was held at First Baptist Church, highlighting the need to not only remember, but to educate. That our history is our guide to our future. And if we can take a hold of that power and harness that opportunity, we can make many more strides. Now, although the EGI acknowledges at least 360 lynching deaths in the state of Alabama between 1884 and 1940, they say that doesn't account for the hundreds, if not thousands, of victims whose bodies may have never been found. Live in studio tonight, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.